too hard, got a zip too hard, they gon' fuck around and drown off this way. Pretty little toes, stuntin' on these hoes, buy another bag soon as I get paid. Bad little vibe, keep up on my side, here's a dirty bitch, gotta catch this fade. Do it all the time, still I'm on my Oh my gosh, you guys, why am I like this? Literally, it takes me so long to start recording a video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This means two things, okay? You hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell. I swear this girl always comes out when I'm recording. Anyway, you hit subscribe and you hit that notification bell so you saw my notification because you want to watch my DIYs or you just randomly clicked on this video, but both things are okay. Everyone is new to my channel, so you can subscribe and also hit the notification bell when you wanna be notified when I upload videos. This series is going to be called a DIY on a dime. Right, that's catchy? DIY on a dime. So I'm gonna be picking up items, not for a dime, but very affordable and I'm gonna be creating things that are popular. Can't wait! <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so I salvaged these from an old birthday party. Yikes, that looks hurt. And basically, I'm going to revamp them for another birthday party. These props have gone through like five parties, by the way. So I'm measuring it out on some cardboard. And because I glued them in the back previously, I wanted the cardboard on the back to make it a lot stronger and more durable. So it's pretty simple. You just trace it out and of course use your handy dandy X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. And it's pretty simple, you know. Get your stuff. Oh, you might want to place something down too because I definitely scratched my table. Put a little glue on it, place it down like so. Pretty self-explanatory. Voila. Finito. Basically, I just kept doing that for the rest of them. I had a ton of different things. One said subscribe, one said YouTube, one was Instagram. They were just fun to have at the party, you know, to get people together. A little Photoshop, photo booth, whatever y'all wanna call it these days. Same thing with this one, glue on the back, press down, voila. Same thing with this one, even though it did look a little hurt, but you know, in pictures you can't really tell, so whatever. This was the old stand that I had made for a cousin's birthday party. And I'm basically gonna be revamping both of these stands that I'm showing you. I just wanted to show you how they looked before. So I did spray paint them rose gold. And initially I bought this tool that I thought I was gonna do something else with and realized that was too much time. So I just covered the whole thing in the tool. Just be careful with the hot glue cause it kind of was noticeable. This used to be a three tier stand and I just made it into two. So that's why there's a little circle at the bottom. That's where the other post was. However, once you cover it up, you barely can see it and I'm putting strawberries on it. So nobody cares. But this is how it looked after I spray painted it and covered the first layer with the tool. And FYI, that little flower box in the corner, I also have another video how I made a flower box and I will link that in the description box below. Here's the overall look. Everybody loved it. It was so cute and chic. It was for her 30th birthday and it definitely gave me 30th birthday vibes. This was the other stand that I showed you in the beginning, just how it looked. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you don't want to miss any more videos that I post, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.